Hello, and welcome to our online demonstration of Sigmasters Restaurant Simulator, or RS. On behalf of Sigmasters, we are proud to present our RS system. We have designed this to be a customizable product, able to adapt fully to your full-service sit-down restaurant. Our goal is to turn the tables of restaurant experience. Here is an overview of what we'll be going over today. As demonstrated by this chart, the full service model creates much more complexity and congestion because there are a lot more moving parts. As owners of successful restaurants, your goal is to always make your restaurant as efficient as possible to be as profitable as possible. Our model is modular and customizable. This allows us to tailor our product to any type of restaurant necessary. The three parts of our model are the queuing, floor, and the kitchen. The queuing system consists of both reservations which can be made in advance as well as walk-ins. This moves to the floor where patrons will be seated according to their party size, which then moves to the kitchen where orders will go in for both appetizers as well as the main course. These food types will be then sent back to the floor and any future orders will be sent back to the kitchen again. The Sigmasters user interface is a user-friendly application that allows you to select initial values of input variables from a pre-populated list and then run multiple simulations and browse through multiple tabs. Let's take a look at a quick demo. As we begin our simulation, we can see a pre-populated list of input values. Now we can choose and edit any of these values as necessary. Once we hit the simulation button, the user interface will load in a chart showing the table, server, and chef count, as well as the throughput values. Clicking on the view run options button shows and hides the input values that you have chosen for that run. Now to create a simultaneous run and show two side by side, we can go back to the run options tab and change a couple values. Now when we hit simulate, a new tab is opened up. In this new tab, we can see the new chart as well as throughput values and the new run options that we have chosen we can easily switch back and forth between the two. And the graph even allows you to zoom in to find more accurate values. Now, these simulation tabs are also easily closed if necessary. The restaurant simulator uses the data acquired from the simulation to display valuable information to a restaurant owner. The outputs from the restaurant simulation fall into two general categories, throughput and bottleneck identification. Throughput, which is the measure by which the success of a restaurant is measured, is essentially the number of customers served per unit time. The unique feature of the restaurant simulator is that rather than displaying an average throughput, the restaurant simulator actually runs multiple iterations of the simulation. After running these iterations, it generates a 95% confidence interval and displays that throughput. This figure is much more useful to a restaurant owner because it represents the throughput that a restaurant can have on a day-to-day -day basis. The second type of data displayed by the restaurant simulator pertains to resource utilization. By analyzing the utilization of each resource, we can identify which ones are placed under the most strain. The resource that is in most demand is therefore identified as a bottleneck. In future iterations of the software, we plan to include support for multiple food types, inventory, real-time operating cost and profit modeling, surge capacity analysis, and a more robust bottleneck identification package. Thank you.